So some thoughts while I was writing out the the response to the prayer night video that I just did. Um, I think I, I understand why people are angry. Um, and I understand that anger is hard and it's it's a natural part of working through things. Um, I'm going through some tough stuff personally right now. And so like I understand the anger and the grief cycles and all of those things. Like it you don't always have control over whether you're angry or not. And so I I challenge those of you who are really angry about uh, what's going on um, to, to really address what's causing the anger. Anger, uh, when I worked both in residential treatment and with adults with disabilities, we talked about um, the psychology and why people act out and behavior and communication and all those things. And something that really has stood out to me for a long time is that anger is always a secondary emotion. It's always triggered by something else. There's either sadness or pain or embarrassment or fear or another emotion behind the anger. And I challenge you guys to really search for that emotion behind the anger. Find out why you are hurting. Find out why, what exactly is going on. And I, I think, I know, I understand a lot of people are like, it's obvious, that's terrible. I, I get that. And I don't disagree. Um, I don't think there was really a good option. But um, yeah, I challenge you guys in your own hearts and in your own life to work through that anger deeper than just being mad. Anger goes deeper than anger. Anger goes to something else that triggered the anger. So I, I, I challenge you guys to work through that. Um, comment below on ways that you can help. I'm, I'm not up for having political debates. Uh, it's not going to change the situation now. Um, and I don't, I, I think there are probably good people on both sides of it. It's really hard for me to say that, but, um, I, it's not, this is not the place to have your political debates. Um, I leave that out. I just want you guys to talk about anger. And um, if you are feeling anger, uh, work, try to work through it. See, think of some ways, maybe maybe list some emotions below that you're feeling underneath that anger that are triggering the anger. Um, because I think that all of those emotions are absolutely valid. I don't think that in the long run, continuing to express everything as angry is, as anger is helpful or will cause us to heal in the right way. Um, so that's what the stuff is going on in my life. My husband refers to it as like, you don't want to heal in a way where you have misshapen bones and um, like, you don't want to heal in the wrong way. You want to heal. And when you break an arm, you want to heal with that arm strong and in its right place and back together. You don't want to heal with a bone that's, bent. I, you know, like just work on that, work on those underlying emotions um, and yeah, that's all I've got. I know it's tough. You guys, you guys can hang in there. Um, I love you all. I will keep making art. I will keep sharing my artwork. Uh, I will keep traveling my city and I hopefully will see you guys in my next video.